Hey guys, this is Critic and Fan, and today we are reviewing the animated movie Batman and the Killing Joke, based off Alan Moore's graphic novel Batman and the Killing Joke. And basically what's going on here is Batman, he's out there fighting crime. It's been like years since he's been doing it. And so he's taking down criminals, putting people in jail. And Joker, he's locked up. But then he escapes, he kidnaps Gordon, tortures the guy, because he wants to prove that anyone could go insane, just like him. You know, because that's what he does. And if that sounds kind of familiar, it's because Christopher Nolan used this graphic novel as inspiration for The Dark Knight. So there you go. And Alan Moore graphic novel is probably one of the most loved graphic novels of Batman. Not just Batman, but like any superhero or anything. The Killing Joke is one of the most loved. And they do a really good job, you know, bringing it to the small screen. More big screen than anywhere you see it. Um, things I really liked about this was the voice acting. They bring back Kevin Conroy and Mark Hamill from the animated series, the 90s animated series, and they do a great job here. I honestly, I feel like a little kid again almost, watching it and hearing those voices. They do such an amazing job. And Joker, um, they make him more like... The problem with the Joker back in the 90s one, some people complained, was that he wasn't allowed to kill anybody, he couldn't hurt anybody, but come on. It's a kid's animated series. Grow up. But in this one, he's able to do that. He could do all sorts of crazy stuff that he couldn't do before. And I thought that was really great. Um, also, um, Batgirl, the voice of Batgirl, Tara Strong, she does a great job as her. And, you know, gotta give her props. She did good. And something I really liked was, looks like they took, like, pages from the graphic novel and just put it on screen. And it looks amazing. Like, Joker is his, his laugh, you know. Every, everyone knows that one. Everyone knows that smile. Um, Mikey will put the picture up of it so you know what I'm talking about because I probably did a horrible job doing it. Um, and all that looks really great. And they do that with several scenes, like straight from the graphic novel. But something I didn't like was the beginning. It sort of um, slowed it down from the very start. It focused solely on Batgirl, a prologue. It's the build her character, and I get it. I, I know if you've seen it, you know why they would do it. It's fine, but it sort of slows it down. I think they could have done it better and maybe cut it a little bit. Um, or just giving her own animated movie. You know, they could have done that. It would have been great, I thought, if they just did her. But it, it does take away. But once it kicks in, it is really good. So yeah, I, I, I highly recommend, if you're a Batman fan, or a DC fan, or just, you know, a fan of animated stuff, go ahead, get this. On my, I got mine on iTunes, but you can get it like, I don't know, any other digital source. Or you can wait till it comes on a DVD. You will enjoy this. There are tons of Easter eggs throughout this. I paused it several times while watching because I saw things. I wanted to make sure I saw what I saw. And so you might do that too. You'll love it. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. I think it's pretty good. Except for that little prologue part, of course. Um, so yes, please follow, subscribe, leave a comment. Tell me, have you seen this yet? Are you a fan of the graphic novel? Um, like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter and everything. Mikey will leave links to everywhere down below. Do your thing, Mikey. Have a good day.